bottoms, they don't mean shit. Right? You don't worry about those. But see how your, your base is kind of dry? Yep. See that color? Well, it looks to me as if it was an automated brush when it came out of the Something. factory. Uh -huh. You can see the strokes of yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, roller your, brush. Yeah, and your base is dry. So listen, you hit something there. See that? See that one? I mean, that little right yeah. there. I can feel it. So it's not a big deal with the bottom. You hit it more on the side. I mean, you hit it in the bottom. But, you know, to have this big a piece of this in your bottom of the ski doesn't mean shit. It doesn't matter. So now, we're back to that same thing. Where I got nothing. Now where's your thumb this time? Inside. Inside. Always inside. Inside. But that's why I'm, I'm locked. Everything's this. My fingers are like this the whole, the whole night. That. They're not moving at all. That should make a vice that keeps your fingers, <laughs> a device that keeps them a ski tuning <laughs> position. Yeah, locked in. So these are shots. So we're going to go back to, we'll try yours. Oh, look at this. Who's that? This is so freaking sharp. I almost like a little dollar like mine. <laughs> Mine's easier to use than yours. Why, because yours is dull? Yeah. Funny. Duller. <laughs> yeah, but yours has tuned hundreds of skis. It has. See what I'm doing now? Once again, I'm, I'm here and I'm, I'm not, maybe I'm a little more exaggerated, but for you, just go slow. But you have to be fat. So you can't, if you put too much pressure, it'll catch, it'll go, yeah. you know? That's what these NFO guys are doing. They're like, they're like this because they're so strong. I know, but they're they're not. They weren't. They didn't understand how go how it's, it's finesse. slow, finesse, gradual, gradual increase, right? Gradual. As you're doing a gradual increase in pressure. So when these come from the factory, they're way high. Your yours are way high, crazy high. But that's not, that's not uncommon. The volume that you've cut off them is tremendous. I know. It's not uncommon. Now, back to the Panzer. Right? So now, see concern? how I changed my angle? Look at that. So when I use the Panzer, I changed my, my angle that much. My biggest concern is I'm going to destroy the ski. Well, you can. Because that is a really aggressive look, look how, look how, Look how hard I'm pulling this way. Look. You're putting a lot of pulling, pressure on that. I know. A lot of pressure. Panzer files uh, require a lot of pressure. Push, look at that. See that? I hit something. Where was that sucker? Oh, it was on the other side. We're going to rip that little chunk that you had here. We're going to rip it right out of your ski and start with a new edge. See that? It's a nice, smooth cut. I love that. See that smooth cut? Yeah. Something's going on right there. I don't know if the sound is picked up enough on the recording or not, but I can hear when you go over. Totally. A little spot where the edge is slightly totally. different. It makes it squeal. To absolutely. I tell people that all the time. You hear something? You hear that ee, ee, ee. If it's not a total uniform sound, then you, 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 you've got something going on there. So here's the thing about what I'm doing. Um, probably like you with the internet. No, you with the internet, there's a whole bunch of people. But there's, there's like nobody that knows how to hand tune anymore. You know, it's a dying art. It's one of the things I could have said. There's lots uh, of videos out there of people hand tuning. Yeah. But I... Do they really know what they're doing? I don't know. I've seen many different uh -huh. approaches. So what is that in your spray bottle there? This is, um, this is a polishing liquid. So what this does, I put it on here. It cleans my diamond stone, right? And you watch the stuff that comes off of this. It's all black, you know? What it does, it's, it, I, I don't know, it, it, it cleans your diamond stone and I guess it uh, creates a better adhesion or something. So every time I use this stuff, then I go to, to the uh, diamond stone, it cuts a lot more. 
And it's, a, it's the fact that the polishing liquid it, it makes it smoother. Sort of degumps the stone. Yeah, degumps it and it makes it a uh, smoother cut, right? So here's what I do with this. So a lot of times I, I'll do this with the ski only on the edge, but it, it's uh, pretty volatile, so it evaporates fast. You don't have to worry about looking at all the crap that just came off your edge, <laughs> right? Right? Just came off your edge. That's why I wear. I put these uh, fingertips on. I don't like the gloves. A lot of people like gloves. I've never used a glove and I just don't have the same feel, right? But we don't even need the fine file on this one. See that? Is that past your standards? Oh, that's got an edge. It's got an edge. You should, if you're slipping, I'm Tim, Tim if, you, if you slip with this, that means you go into lesson mode. <laughs> Get that baby on edge, little more. This will bite through any New England ice. Oh, for sure. What are these things? A lot. Elon yeah. Amphibios. What's XTI. the radio? Is it 15-ish or so? Let's it's see. Nice. What well, does it have it on here? Racing sidewall technology. Uh, most of you rip. Should be in the bottom. There we go. What? Radius 15.8. Perfect. 60 meter radius. 131, 84, 112. 84. 84 under That's foot. That's great. 84 under foot. That's perfect. So you haven't seen the other skis I have, which are the 69 under foot. Uh huh. But these are the ones going to Zermatt. Yep. So here's what I could do. Like if you, once you cut the sidewall, you don't really have to do it. So the next time around, what I would do, if they were kind of bad, I'd bag the sidewall, you don't do that every time, but I would take the sidewall cutter to like lots of people's skis. And they don't, you know, people think you take a sidewall cutter? Yeah, just to cut one phase. It's like a better, it's a, all it is is a coarse file if you know how to use it right, right? Something, you know, I'm not hacking into it. But see, I can't because, but see how you could use that as your sidewall cutter? See, look. Is I see it all, it's cutting sidewall. Yeah, that, it cuts sidewall. Not as effective as the actual sidewall cutter. Right. So they sell this device that I bought. It was one of these with a five degree bevel. So Ooh. what it's doing is putting it over. So I can make my own five, five degree bevel. I can make my own five yes. degree like that, right? I make my own. Make my own five degree by tilting it. Yep. I mean, the average cat's not gonna do that. But so, um, whatever. So I still wanna cut sidewall on this, right? But so yours for some reason seemed like maybe you were pulling it in too much. It's probably what, what happens. Yeah, you were, probably because you were afraid. Anything. Probably because you were, you know, and most of the con that that's sort of a common thing. Because the last thing you want to do is think you're going to go out. And, if yeah. you did go out, you, you have a big problem, right? So maybe that's why you, you put a little track that's a little too deep there, right? Did you do that or no? No, that's factory. Oh, 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 oh. No, I haven't oh, done oh, anything on oh. these. This is factory. Oh, I thought you tried to cut the side. No, I tried on some other skis. Oh, oh well, yeah. So there's, look, look how high there, there, there is, right? See how high that is there? Yep. That's so high. You don't even see the edge. So, so I cut it here. It's gone yeah. here. Oh, I, I thought you. No, I different oh. pair. I'll show you. Oh, okay. I tried the sidewall cutter on. I see. This pair is stopped from oh, the factory. I, I mean, the, it looks like the plastic on the edge there. The sidewall is way out. This thing is like the best tool ever, right? I'll leave some of this with you. I have a whole bunch of my eyes. All right. Wonder what that kid. And here's what you do all the time. You want to check on? Yeah, in a couple minutes. Okay. So you you wipe away all the debris. Yep, all the time. Get a clean surface for your edge. Yep. So a lot of times I do this too. Just move a little bit, right? A little different cut. Seems like a good boy, huh? Yep, definitely. Look how much shit I'm cutting off, right? <laughs> oh, I'm like, do you hear that? Yep. You talk about hearing? Watch. I heard that. Ready? 
right there. Wow. <laughs> that was like a whiny little baby. That's Tim's rock. Remember that rock we saw before? Yeah. So what I do with that, I'll go like this a little bit. In the back a little bit, like this. It doesn't really help that much. But the big thing I have to do is use this. Every now and then I'll do that. You'd have to do that all the time with a with the uh, um, uh, what do you call smaller file. The pans are you don't really have to do that. The teeth are so big it cuts the crap out of the way. We're gonna get rid of that thing. Where is it? Gone, right? Gone. Important lesson, people. Your ears are part of yeah. the tuning process. Holy. But obviously, your ears, your feel. So I feel it. If I'm going like this, I hear a feel a jerk. You know, there's a whole bunch of things. You know, obviously, the more you do it, once you get into 30 years, of it, it's not good. <laughs> Okay, so we need the fine foulness now, right? Back to the fine foul on this side. This side didn't really do. You probably skied more on this edge than you did that one. Well, let's see. This is the left ski, so that would have been the inside edge. Well, maybe they didn't do very much at the factory on the inside edge. Yeah. Wow. Okay, I disagree with that decision there. I need to cut more of this. That's only good for for when you're really almost done. And I don't, even on my own well, my own skis, I only use that. Yeah, uh, because I'm, I tune them all the time. But with other people's skis, I have to bring them in. I always use the Panzer file. Like when I go to Vale, my sister's skis are all so trash. It goes Panzer Diamond Stone done. You know. So I'm a little high with sidewall still. See that? See that? Yep. Still getting some off. Oh, that. That noise. Pretty whiny noise. Look at that loop, huh? That was a lot of sidewall. There's a friggin' earring for you there, champ. There's some sidewall. Let's put it right in front of the camera so you can see how much is coming off. Do a picture of the floor and this is all oh, done. Oh, look at this one. Oh. Another one. Huh? <laughs> so I, apparently I didn't cut enough sidewall off this guy. Okay, so now the sidewall is good. So now you do that again. Look at all this stuff. Wow. <laughs> you have a vacuum, I hope? Yeah, I have a shop vac. Okay, fair enough. What the hell is going on? Oh, that's a very weird sound. What the hell is going on is not something you want to hear your brain surgeon say. No, look. But see the marks in the, that are made? Yep. If you're making marks in a panzer file, there's something. Something's not right. See that? Now we're cutting again. So this edge is worse. I don't know what, what you did or what happened, but it doesn't really matter. Bottom line, at the end of the day, as long as you get it all figured out. The only thing I can say that happened is that the inside edge from the factory. So one of the things, well, that shouldn't matter. It's supposed to be. It's both, supposed to be the same. It's supposed to be identical. <laughs> so I can tell by uh, tuning someone's skis if they're in the middle of their ski, if they're in the front of the ski. A racer usually tends to have it up here. Someone who's just uh, slipping and sliding, it's pretty much everything's underfoot. All right, so I can tell how someone skis by tuning the ski. You must have hit some shit. Oh, you hit stuff up here. Timmy, that's the, that's the, <laughs> that was that other twig. <laughs> <laughs> you, you were, you were telling me about this one. Okay, that's, that's okay. That's usually what, well, it does that. 
But if you keep hacking away, and that's what you want to do because you want to get these back to square one. Okay. We are really going back to square one here. A lot of sidewall. A lot of sidewall, for sure. It just seems like a little extra there. Alright, I think we got it this time. Sometimes it's perseverance in these things. See that? So easy, was it? Man. All good. Oh yeah, now we got it. But you don't give up. Joining, you never give up. <laughs>